Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Bulfat. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to UAE Vice President, Prime Minister, and Dubai ruler, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, on the victory of Al Dayar, which won the 2021 Epsom Derby G1 in Britain, one of the most prominent horse races in Europe. His Majesty the King hailed the great achievements, which represents an honorable qualitative addition to the UAE's distinguished record in the field of horse racing at the global level. In the cable, His Majesty the King praised the unlimited support and great interest that His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum attaches to equestrian sports, which yielded many honorable achievements and results in accomplished by UAE riders in various regional and international races. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to UAE Vice President, Prime Minister and Dubai ruler His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum on the victory of the Diyar, which won the 2021 Epsom Derby G1 in Britain. His Royal Highness hailed the great achievement, which represents an honorable qualitative addition to the UAE's distinguished record in the field of horse racing at the global level. And the cable, His Royal Highness praised the unlimited support and great interest that His Highness Sheikh Mohammed Ahmed bin Rashid Al Maktoum attaches to equestrian sports which yielded many honorable achievements and results accomplished by UAE riders in various regional and international races. His Majesty the King's representative for humanitarian work and youth affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, congratulated UAE Vice President, Prime Minister, and Dubai ruler, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, on the victory of Al Diyar, which won the 2021 Epsom Derby G1 in Britain, one of the most prominent horse races in Europe. He said that the achievement of the team goal. Godolphin, owned by His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid, confirms the successful march of the team thanks to His Highness's interest and support, pointing out that the Emirati victory is a Bahraini victory in light of the strong relationship between the two brotherly countries. He pointed out that His Highness Sheikh Mohammed's support and great care has turned Godolphin into one of the prominent international teams which compete on the top positions in all major championships and races. He lauded the Godolphin team, which has always amazed the world with its high capabilities, which is the fruit of the interest and support of His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum. His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa wished them further success in the upcoming races. In implementation of the decisions of the government's executive committee and in light of the efforts exerted to combat the coronavirus, the chairman of the Supreme Council for Health, the SCH, and the head of the National Medical Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus, Lieutenant General Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, inaugurated the medical center allocated for the treatment and follow-up on mild and moderate active cases at Bahrain International Exhibition and Convention Center in the presence of the National Medical Task Force members and the number of senior officials in the health sector. The chairman of the SCH hailed the continuous support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, expressing thanks to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa for his follow-up on all the efforts of Team Bahrain to maintain the health and safety of all. Lieutenant General Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdullah affirmed that the precautionary plans and preventative and control strategies that are being implemented come within the framework of harnessing all energies and capabilities to combat the virus and ensure the safety and health of all citizens and residents in the kingdom. He commended the national efforts of the medical and health staff, directing all medical caterers to continue providing the highest level of efficiency in health and treatment services for all active cases treated in the centre. The Minister of Health, Faiqa bin Saeed al-Saleh, visited the tracing and follow-up unit recently established at the Ministry of Health to provide support for the Health Directorate to trace and follow up on active COVID-19 cases. Al-Saleh hailed the efforts of all national competencies that support all the plans and programs implemented to combat the spread of the coronavirus. She hailed the positive results achieved in this regard to support the efforts of the National Task Force for combating the coronavirus 
members to protect the health and safety of all. She affirmed the important role of the team concerned with tracing contacts of active cases to support public health to combat the virus, especially in the field of communication, follow-up and coordination to help these cases and inform them on the procedures that must be taken, in addition to following up on the implemented precautionary measures. The minister expressed thanks and appreciation to every member of the Bahraini society who has had a role in combating the pandemic. The Public Health Department Director at the Health Ministry, Dr. Najat Abul Fetah, reviewed the tasks and responsibilities of the teams assigned to support the contact tracing team. Team Bahrain's victorious star cyclist Damiano Crusoe stressed the key role of the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Works and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the team's achievements, the most important of which winning one of the stages of the Giro d'Italia's tour and securing second place in the general standing in the same competition, too. Moreover, the 33 year old Italian cyclist has praised His Highness Sheikh Nasser's close follow up to the team in general and the support he provided to him in particular, stating that this has enabled him to top the podium in Giro d'Italia. Speaking during a press conference held at Four Seasons Hotel Bahrain Bay, the Italian cyclist expressed utmost pride to represent Bahrain in the cycling sport through Team Bahrain Victorious, underlining that the team has become a unique milestone in this sport and an inspiring icon for many young people. He indicated that the team is following a precise strategy sketched by his Highness Sheikh Nasser, who established the team in 2017, affirming that this strategy was the reason that enabled them to accomplish unique achievements. He added that the team, thanks to the vision of His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, has become the main driving force of the development process for cycling, not just in Bahrain but also in the region. Crusoe confirmed that the team is looking to win the titles of, an, of the Grand Tours, including the Giro d'Italia. I'm uh, very happy to come back in Bahrain after two years uh, be, and uh, I, I feel the good connection between uh, the, the, our team and, uh, and, uh, and Bahrain because I think uh, also here the cycling is, is improving and, uh, is, uh, and also we can see we have a new rider who comes from Bahrain he joined in this team uh, first time in this year. I, I met him, uh, I met uh, Ahmed in January first time in the first training camp and uh, he was a good guy, really good guy and uh, he showed his talent and uh, I'm happy also for him and uh, for Bahrain because uh, uh, new talent now is in the World Tour uh, from Bahrain. That's important for him and uh, for uh, his nation. I'm sure in the, in the, in the next year um, uh, Bahrain is uh, growing up in the cyclism because we, we saw already uh, that one rider is, uh, was able to reach the highest level in the World Tour in, in the cyclism. So I think uh, the, the investments uh, are, are good because uh, we, we saw already the, the, the result because it's not easy to have one rider in a World Tour level and uh, Ahmed he show he can stay there and uh, it is part of our team 100%. I feel the connection between uh, Bahrain and uh, the team is improving day, day, year by year. You know? It's a, like a story, love story. You know? Every, every year getting better and uh, it's, uh, I think it's, uh, we are proud about, uh, I think the people in Bahrain is proud about uh, his team and uh, we are proud about uh, Bahrain because it's always important when uh, you, you have in your jersey one, uh, one flag like Bahrain. It's really important to show across the world how it's important uh, and the, the feeling with this, uh, with this nation. 
Bahrain has strongly condemned the launch of an explosive laden drone by the Iranian-backed Houthi militia towards the city of Khamis Mshayet, Saudi Arabia. In a statement, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs denounced the Houthi militia's continued systematic terrorist attacks targeting civilians and civil institutions in Saudi Arabia in a flagrant violation of international laws and humanitarian and moral principles. The ministry commended the capabilities and efficiency of the coalition forces to support legitimacy in Yemen who were able to intercept and destroy the drone. It stressed Bahrain's support for measures taken by Saudi Arabia to defend its security, stability and territorial integrity. The chief executive of the Education and Training Quality Authority, the BQA, Dr. Jawahar Lambahki, took part in a validation workshop for strengthening networking in quality assurance in Africa and developing a continental mutual recognition guidelines for quality assurance agencies, which was held from the 31st of May to the 2nd of June within the framework of the UNESCO Shenzhen Funds and Trust project for the implementation of its component three. To speak more about this matter, we are joined on the phone by the chief executive of the BQA, Dr. Jawahar Lambahki. Hello, Dr. Jawahar. Can you tell us about your participation in the workshop and how do you value the progress of higher education in the Kingdom of Bahrain during the current health circumstances? Thank you very much, dear, for uh, your kind invitation to be in Bahrain TV today to talk about the participation of the UNESCO workshop. First, I would like to take a few seconds to give the background of this workshop. A few months ago, the UNESCO have developed a project to strengthen quality assurance in higher education in Africa, which had three interconnected components, establishing quality assurance agencies in four countries, provide capacity building in a newly established agency. In addition to the uh, theme of this workshop, which is to strengthen networking and develop beautiful recognition tools for external quality assurance agencies and accreditation bodies. After the UNESCO developed this mutual recognition tool, they actually contacted the uh, Education and Training Quality Authority in Bahrain. They contacted us to be one of the three renowned experts for reviewing it. The other two reviewers were the South African Qualification Authority and the Swiss Accreditation Agency. The invitation then was extended to us to participate in the validation workshop of the mutual recognition tool uh, as one of the UNESCO supporter and partner of the quality assurance program. In this workshop, we presented the Kingdom of Bahrain experience in the education and training development and how the initiatives that started over a decade ago and contri are contributing to the achievement of the fourth goal of the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals for 2030. The successful cooperation of Bahrain Quality Authority with the re regional and international quality authorities and networks was a model that could be followed by other agencies for better achievements and better preparation for the future of education in their countries. The Bahrain also experienced, as you uh, mentioned, in, during you know, the current uh, and preceded period with the COVID-19 pandemic, where the BQA continued its operation, starting with conducting benchmarking with other quality agencies to enhance the review standards and update the frameworks to fit the virtual site visit. At the same time, Bahrain uh, Quality Authority conducted many capacity building workshops to all institutions virtually on reviews and national qualification frameworks. And I'm happy to say that all education and training institutions in the kingdom were very cooperative with BQA. The final point that I added on the BQA efforts during the past year was the organization of five forums and an international conference virtually that were a learning experiences and a very helpful tool to organization and countries to learn from. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. And uh, that was the Chief Executive of the Education and Training Quality Authority, the BQA, Dr. Jawahar Lambahki. Thank you very much for joining us. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 998,504 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 815,230 had taken the second. The ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. 
And the Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 23,332 with 3,651 recoveries, 1,432 registered new cases and 22 deaths. 567 of the new registered cases are expatriates and 865 are contacts of active cases. The Ministry expresses its heartfelt condolences to the families of the disease and urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for Combating the coronavirus.